Installing new flex auger for the grower select feed system. Prior to installation, be sure to follow all safety measures outlined in the Grow Flex manual. This includes shutting off all electrical power to the system and wearing personal protective equipment while working. For ease of installation, two people are recommended to install the Grow Flex auger. Begin by pushing the auger into the rear of the unloader and through the auger tube until the auger reaches the control unit at the end of the line. At the control unit, attach the auger to the driver by rotating the driver and threading the auger through the anchor clamp. Rotate the auger so that it is fully engaged on the driver. Tighten the screws with an allen wrench to securely clamp the auger line to the control unit. Once the line is secured, go ahead and attach the cover plate to the control unit. Return to the unloader and cut the auger line approximately 6 inches from the box. Pull on the auger line a few times until it begins to stretch and slowly release it. This will relax the auger to its natural length. While the auger is relaxed, mark it where it exits the unloader. Once marked, stretch the auger 2 inches for every 50 feet of system length. For a tandem system, stretch the auger 4 inches for every 50 feet. For ease of cutting the auger, pull it out an additional 6 to 8 inches from the unloader and secure it with a vice grips or locking pliers. Cut the auger at the mark previously made and grind the end smooth. Insert the anchor bearing until the auger touches the anchor flange. Thread the auger onto the auger clamp pin and tighten the set screws. Remove the locking pliers and check for correct length. Once confirmed, apply anti-seize lubricant to the bearing flange for future ease of maintenance. Carefully remove the locking pliers, then stretch the auger and release it so it snaps securely into place. Secure it with an anchor bearing clamp. Place a cannonball into the unloader and install the access door to complete the installation. The system is now ready to run.